What is up everybody, I am back again with another quick tip video. This time I will be covering Craig Marduk and his ever annoying tackle. Outside of doing throw breaks to escape the tackle, there are other methods to avoid it entirely. The first is to attempt to block it at max range. The second way is to place your character into an airborne state and the tackle will whiff. Mind you, this only works for the regular version. The rage dry version will get you. At a spaced max range tackle attempt, Marduk is unable to grab you and is very negative when you block his mini headbutt. He is minus 21 and very launch punishable. The second way to avoid it is to put your character into an airborne state. That means both flea and dragonfly stands avoid the tackle. For the dragonfly combos, you can exit out of dragonfly as soon as you see the spark animation of the throw attempt occur and then do any launcher you like. If you prefer to stay in dragonfly stance, you will have to do a delayed dragonfly 2 in order to launch. Now I bet you're wondering, that's great and all, but I don't use Yoshimitsu. The universal backflip also works for everyone, as far as I know. There is a sweet spot as far as the timing goes. If you do it too early, you'll get hit by the headbutt. If you do it too late, Marduk will tackle you. Now in these clips, Notice how late I am inputting the backflip. You can react to Marduk starting the tackle. Marduk has a secondary method to apply tackle pressure using his down back 3 4 string and its cancel. The string on its own is not a natural combo, so you can always block the second kick, which is minus 13 on block. But Marduk can cancel the second kick into a tackle attempt. So, can you apply the same escapes as before? Yes you can. If you go the flea route, you get really bad damage, so I don't recommend it. If you go the dragonfly route, you get your full combo damage. The more universal backflip option also works here. The same rules apply here, and put the backflip as Marduk starts his tackle attempt. In these clips, I synced both strings. Notice that you have to wait for the window of when the kick option occurs. If you block the kick, do your 13 frame punish. If no kick comes out, you can do your backflip. You will have to get used to the rhythm of the two hit string. Marduk cannot delay it, so the timing is always the same. Once you get the flow down, it's up to you to decide what combo routes you take. So there you have it, another quick tip for the annoying Marduk matchup. If you have any other annoying strings or matchups that you want me to cover, feel free to leave that in the comments below, and I'll take it into consideration for future videos. So until next time, take care.